How are you doing? Welcome to Cooking with Joss. We're gonna make peanut butter pancakes. <sighs> Not pancakes. Peanut butter cookies. <laughs> I've been having a funny day today. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, I actually did wake up in a really weird way. Um, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I keep getting these like cramps in the back of my calves and what did you call them, babe? Charlie horse. Charlie horses. Uh, I shoot out of bed. I'm like, ow, oh my God. And I have to stand on the balls of my feet to get this to stop. So that's how I woke up this morning and it sent me into a bit of a funny spin. And poor Cody, he's jumping out of the bed going, oh my God, what's wrong? I'm like, it's fine, don't worry. I just have to snap it out. And I snapped it out and now I'm fine, but I think I'm a bit delirious. You know. Anyway, how you doing? Good? Um, so you're gonna need for this um, cookie, not oh, fucking pancake, an egg, um, peanut butter, which I've just opened and it smells amazing. I like peanut butter. Peanut butter, extra crunchy. I like crunchy. You don't have to use crunchy. There is no flour in this. Sugar. I don't actually know any of the measurements, but as we go, I think we should figure out the measurements, just because it's comforting to know how much you're putting in, isn't it? But I just do it by, um, by texture. Um, I would suggest you use baking paper. Um, I don't have baking paper because we accidentally purchased wax paper. I have no idea if that's gonna burn in the oven. So this could be one of those mad cooking with Joss moments where we burn down the kitchen. But I'm gonna try it. It's wax paper. It does say you can put it in the oven. They don't take very long. They take like 12 minutes. Right. Okay, that doesn't fit. I'll do another one. Anyway, how's everyone doing? You are right? Joss, are you ticklish? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I'm very ticklish and it really is annoying. I hate it when you do the tickle me. I hate it. No tickles. Horrible. Ugh. Honestly, I think it's a form of abuse, <laughs> tickling. Oh, even talking about it makes me feel stressed out. I don't like it. I don't want any part of it. No tickling. In fact, I had a conversation with Cody about the baby. I said, when the baby comes, please, if they don't like being tickled, please don't tickle them. <laughs> because I remember being tickled as a child by my dad. And um, obviously when you're being tickled, you're laughing because something happens to your body that makes you laugh. But that laughter confuses the tickler into thinking that you're having a nice time. Well, you're not. No, no, no. I thought you were coming oh, over to no, tickle no, me. No. 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 <laughs> I put it on 400. It says it's 350 on the recipe. Oh, well done. No, but this recipe, is it the recipe? I don't know where I got this from. I got the one that says uh, measurements. Does that one have flour in it though? No. Is it just peanut butter, egg and sugar? Yes. Oh well, our oven's a bit hot. Now we just turned it down, it'd be fine. Yeah. Saving the day yet again. Anyway, so yes, it, I thought he was coming to tickle me. See the fear? I've been scarred. That as an example of being scarred. Right, so anyway, right, let's get these cups out. So your measurements are gonna be one cup peanut butter, one cup white sugar, and one egg. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's so one. simple, there one, you go. One, one, one. one, one. Thank you, babe. You're so good. Okay, so, um, in the past, I have just made this without measuring it. So if you get the measurements wrong, it doesn't matter. You're looking for a consistency. But now we've Googled it, we know it's one cup peanut butter, one cup sugar and one egg. So this is like a cup. So if you're in England, you don't have a cup. Um, there is a specific measurement. Do not do what I did at the beginning of my time and get a mug and think that's a cup, because it ain't. It's not a cup. That is something you drink tea cup. out of. It is a cup, but it's not a measuring cup, which is this. Look at that. So different. So different. 
So if you just have a mug, just fill it halfway or fill it the full way and put two eggs in. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Okay, so I'll tell you a story. Story time. You guys all right? George from Brazil. Hello, gorgeous. You all right? How's life? Hi, Maria. You have a bump. I do have a bump. Look, I got massive. Oh, I feel like... I know, I'm eating too much. I have to... This is what cooking with Joss is doing to me. It's turning me into a little... I don't know. Roly-poly. Oh! I just eat so much now. Right, I know, yeah. I know it's baby, but there's only a little bit of baby in there. I think it's mostly just me. Raphael wants to know if you have any weird cravings. Not weird. Well, depends how weird you think it is, but um, I love oranges. I just had an orange actually just before we were talking. And I don't mean oranges, I mean like a sat clementine. clementine satsumas. Something that's easy to open because when I'm, when I'm on an orange, I want an orange. I don't want to sit there for ages trying to peel it. Um, the other day, we were in, what was that shop when I got all <sighs> flustered? Supermarket. No, I remember when we were in Rhode Island and I ate seven oranges on the way home. I think we went to the grocery it market. It was like Walmart or something. Yeah, we went to Walmart. Yeah. Just, I got so hot. Yeah. And I just literally burst into tears. <laughs> I went, well, we were walking along and Cody said, you are right, love? And I went... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I wasn't fine. I just needed oranges. And then we got in the car and I had seven oranges. <laughs> and I felt great. See? I'm easily pleased. Okay, so we're doing the measurements. That's a good old spoon. Oh, the peanut butter's good. Mm hmm. I like peanut butter. That gives you energy too. It's Bloody good, isn't it? Warren says no wax paper in the oven for a long Really? Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to burn down the place if we put the wax paper in the oven. Okay. But Google says different. I like Warren better than Google. You do? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's not do it. Ugh. Okay, we won't put the wax paper in the oven, thank you. Is it Warren? Yeah, Warren. Thank you, Warren. Save the day. Um, one cup. Um... So, I guess we're just going to butter the pan. I don't suggest doing that. I suggest going to get um, baking paper. Baking paper is just so much easier. It really is. It's so, so, so much easier. But, don't worry about it. We're just going to roll with the punches and make this happen. It's all going to be good. One cup of crunchy peanut butter. Now, sugar. Now, the story about these... Do you remember the cookies that I sent you, hun? Yeah, I do cookies. Yeah. So yeah. the story about these um, peanut butter cookies is I was flirting with Cody, right? So we weren't... Oh, my God, break my bloody nail. We weren't um, together as such. We were just talking a lot. And it was like FaceTiming and you know, writing letters, stuff like that. And I went to the nail salon down the road where I was living in Brooklyn. And um, the, I was telling the lady about it. She was so sweet. Oh, she was so sweet. Oh, her name was Vivi and Enhui. She had two names. But anyway, um, she said, oh my gosh, he sounds like the perfect man because Cody was always doing really romantic things for me whilst he was in um, Iraq, but he still managed to do it. So if I kind of would go out in New York with my friends and get a bit pissed, um, which didn't happen often, but it did happen, um, he would send me breakfast. This is a good tip, by the way, guys and girls. If you want to woo someone and you're far away, or even if, even if you're not far away, let's say you're just dating, um, and you still live in separate abodes. Um, if you really like somebody and you know they've had like a fun night and maybe they're a bit hungover or whatever, just call Uber Eats and order them breakfast. <gasps> Cody did that for me, it was so sweet. And he would never tell me, I would get a, um, 
I knock on the door. I think, who's that? I didn't invite anyone round. So I go to the door and there's this chap there and he goes, um, hands me a bag of whatever the treats were. It could have been, you know, some chocolate croissant or some scrambled eggs or something. And he would go, oh, this is from Cody. I'd be like, how the fuck? What do you mean it's from Cody? He's in Baghdad. Can't be from Cody. But it was. Anyway, so sweet. So I would tell and we about these things. I would go and get my nails done and we'd have little girly chats and I'd be like, oh, he did this thing for me. Oh, it's so sweet. And she was like, you need to send him some things. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Um, you know, that I can send like letters and stuff. I don't know if I can send stuff. Anyway, um, it turned out that I could send stuff to him. Um, he gave me this special address. Hang on, I'm, I'm putting in, I'm putting in one cup of sugar now and just mixing it up. So yeah, so I could send him stuff to this, I don't know, special kind of, what is the, the type of address, babe? It's like a military address, isn't it? So it's still going to America. No, it's, just, it's just a, uh, they call it an APO, DPO. APO, DPO, lots of numbers in it. Anyway, I didn't know that I could send food. So I made him these cookies. They're really easy to make and they kept okay, didn't they? They, yeah. they were okay when you had them. When you had them, I mean, it must have been weeks later. There's a lot of sugar in it, so it's not going to go off. No. Um, were they crunchy or soft? How, how they were, were they? Still soft, yeah. They were still soft. Yeah. Well, anyway, he liked it. Okay. I think I got those around the time we were being attacked. They were lifesavers. <laughs> oh, really? I get to the food, the food it was cool. I'm really glad that you got them. And it was nice to be able to do that for him because he was always doing things like that for me. So let's see, let's see how it looks. Check this out. There you go. Oh, it smells good already. Right, anyway, I'm gibbering on too much. Here we have. Neil Bolt says, hello stranger, not sure if you remember me from Canada days. Who? Neil Bolt. I do remember Neil Bolt. Why do I remember Neil Bolt? Taking from the cadet days. Yeah. He said, Huh? Going to the Hello. Exeter, buying your soul something oh. Yeah, you decided you're so embarrassed. Well, yes. How funny. Hi, Neil. How's it going? Are you ma Who's making these cookies with me? Anybody? Is anyone making them? Oh, Letitia. That's a cool name. That was sweet of Cody. May I ask how you two met? Well, are you ready? Okay, so we met in an airport, but I was not in a position to be flirting with Cody when we met. So I basically avoided him. That's a long story short, but I saw him in the airport and I was like, oh my God, he's bloody lovely, isn't he? So I, um, I avoided him because I was not free and I was in a bit of a a relationship with a guy that was like sweet but you know we weren't really vibing anyway and um he he was traveling to belize and i was um i was traveling from antarctica to belize to do a gig and he was just a total gentleman and he was the only other guy on the plane so of course we're all talking to him i'm talking about we're all i mean me and my crew which is harry and leon <laughs> um they were chatting away to him and I was just kind of being polite, but I don't know if I was doing too much chatting because I was a little bit like, he's a bit handsome, a bit too handsome to be talking to when you're in a relationship. Anyway, then we kind of went through immigration and said goodbye. And it was like, oh yeah, nice to meet you, mate. Have a nice holiday, you know. And then he turned up at the, um, the same hotel as us. I was like, oh shit. We were downstairs having a beer and there he bloody is. I was like, Oh God, it's that handsome guy from the bloody airport. So I decided I cannot sit here and chat to a handsome man. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come up with an excuse to leave. So I stood up, <laughs> I hadn't even finished my dinner. I was like, I'm going to go and buy some shampoo. I say shampoo, it was actually conditioner, but whatever. So I said, I'm going to go and buy some shampoo, I must be off. And Harry looked at me like, 
Okay. I mean, we've just arrived here from... We, we have just been on five planes and um, I didn't really need any shampoo. It was the last gig. It was, it was kind of a stupid thing, but I just needed to get out of there. So then, of course, I had to make that true because I don't lie. I won't do it. I'm not doing it. So I was like, right, okay, bye. So I split. Harry looked at me like something's weird. Cody was like, okay, whatever. She's going to buy shampoo. So then I walked outside. I found a cab and I said, um, I need to go and buy some shampoo. <laughs> And chatted to the guy. I remember talking to the guy about his mum. Anyway, that's another story. Anyway, so he took me to the supermarket and he waited for me, which is good, because I don't know if it was completely the safest place to be wandering around. So he sat outside and waited for me. I bought my shampoo and then I um, got back in the cab and drove back. And I thought, he'll be gone now. He'll be gone. He won't go. He was in the elevator when I got into the elevator. And I was like, <gasps> And you know when you fancy someone, it's really awkward. So we were stood like that, like... Okay, I pressed my... I pressed my, um... Number. He pressed his, I was like, okay. That's me. Okay. And then, he got out the lift. And I was like, oh... Thank God he's gone. It's much too handsome. And, um... Then I felt this really... Honestly, I shit you not, this is the truth. I felt like worried. I felt like, what if that was him? What if? And then I just reasoned with myself. I mean, and when I say that was him, I mean like that was the one, right? Apparently I was right. But anyway, um, and then I reasoned with myself. No, 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 it's just because I'm having a bad relationship or I'm having an argument currently with, with Chappie. And anyway, it's very interesting. The story does go on. Because then he, he was gone then, wasn't he? The next day, a chap called Rudy. Rudy, are you on here? Sometimes we see Rudy on here. Do we see Rudy? Maybe not. Sometimes he comes on. Have a look out for him, babe. Because Cody got chatting to Rudy, who is a fan of my music, who flew to Belize to see the gig. They somehow crossed paths after we'd met and started talking. Cody didn't know my stage name. He knew I was a singer, he knew I was English. But he didn't know, like, how to find me. Rudy really told him how to find me. And then he found me. And then I had to ignore him for another four months. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I was polite and nice. He messaged me, oh, hi, how you doing? I can't remember what he said. And I was like, oh, thank, oh, that was another thing you did. He paid for all of our drinks um, that night at the bar. Take notes, guys, take notes. Because if you want to be remembered, there's little things that you can do, even if the, the timing isn't right, because the timing was not right. I was like, no, I'm not gonna entertain this, but he's stuck in my mind. Anyway, now here we are. This, this, and this, and Cookies. So it worked. All of my mates say, including my dad now, Cody needs to write a book. <laughs> he needs to write a book on how to be smooth. Oh, it was our anniversary yesterday. Oh, he put petals everywhere and candles everywhere. Anyway, I could talk about this all day long. I don't know if you're getting bored about this now, but I just love him and I could talk about how amazing he is all day. <sighs> right, so. So far, we haven't been very productive. All we've done is chat about love and life. And as far as the cooking with Joss bit goes, we basically have put peanut butter with sugar. It's not productive, guys. Okay, egg. We're getting rid of that because that's gonna burn. Do not put that in the oven. <laughs> One egg. my nail again so I need to get some nail glue I've, I've just put the egg in can you see you can't see egg it's in there I'm just gonna smush it together okay and that's it smushing how's everyone doing you all right 
<laughs> oh dear. So then, anyway, so then he said, oh, on these messages, right? That there were very few. But he said, I'm going to be in Europe. This is very common when you're a musician and you travel around the world. Um, people that you meet on your travels often message you saying, hey, I'm going to be in Europe. Um, are you guys playing any festivals? So he messaged and said, I'm going to be in Europe on one of my months off. Um, I just wondered whether you guys are, are going to be there. He didn't say whether you guys are going to be there. I think, I think he said whether you are going to be wrong. there. No, I'm telling it vaguely, aren't I? Anyway, I just said, Harry might not be there. No. Oh no, he's coming in to completely correct. Completely wrong. Sorry, so sorry, it's, it's a bit wrong. vague. It's so what I said, I said, Hi, are you going to be in Europe? I'd love to take you, <laughs> you, to dinner and have a nice time. Right. And that's what I said. And she said, oh, well, I'll be there, but I don't think Harry will be there. And I literally, and I looked at my phone and I was like, what? Why, why is she talking about Harry? I didn't think you meant me, me, me. I, think, I thought you meant you. I don't know, you guys. Lord. I said you. I didn't say, <laughs> are you guys? I said, are you going to be in Europe? And are you available for a dinner? Because I'd love to take you to dinner. You didn't say it like I that. I did say that. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, you can't. didn't. I just can't. <laughs> he didn't. I did say it. <laughs> he might have said you and I might have ignored the you. Because I wasn't ready. Sorry. Just wasn't ready. And anyway, so I just said, yeah, Harry and Leon might not be there because it might be um, not a Total World Tour gig. Where Harry always comes to those. And Leon might, it might be Steve playing. I said, Leon. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It worked out. It didn't deter you. It didn't deter you at all. No. no. He's very, like, pretty focused in there. Most people would be like, gosh, she's annoying. She doesn't, she's not giving me an inch. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Right. So that's it. We've put the egg in. We've smushed it all together. Now what you need to do is make small balls and pop it in the oven. We'll try one, maybe let's try two, and see how many minutes it takes. It might take 10 minutes, but we'll have a chat. Um, oh, oil, thank you, baby. Yeah, I'll put a bit of butter on. I don't know, normally I just put it straight. If you have baking paper, just put it straight in the baking paper. Okay. But we're not. We haven't got baking paper, so we're going to do butter. Don't forget the uh, what? Don't forget the butter. Oh, 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 that's another story about me and Cody. My friends made him a song. Oh, God. I don't know if we can ever post that video, but I hope one day we do, because it is the fucking funniest thing. Right, get rid of that. And I shall be... Mm. Yeah, okay. Right, we've got butter. Now, how big do you want your pancakes? Pancakes. Why do I keep saying pancakes? <coughs> stuck in my mind. I think I'm hungry. I think I need another orange. Oh dear, I'm cracking myself up. Why am I cracking myself up so much? Right. Okay. I suggest, I suggest, how big? Get a little bit of the goo, put it in your hands, and then roll it, like so. Oh, Eagle's trying to get up on the sofa. now a peanut butter ball okay pop it on it's gonna be fine oh Renee said but in the end you had dinner together months later yes yes we did, yes, we did. it was actually oh, not her. where was it in Spain in Spain shall I tell that story that's a sweet story it's a sad story and a sweet story don't know if you guys remember, but remember when I was deported from Iran? 
that day, that was a sad day for me because I wanted to play there and and it was kind of the last, well, it was the last gig on the Total World Tour that had taken me six years to do. And um, I feel like it's the only country that has been, has been left out of that, which is basically not the point of the tour. The point of the tour, the only really important point of that tour was to not leave anywhere out or anyone out or any group or, or nation or, you know, to not, just go to some places that pay you, you know? You have to just treat everyone the same. Anyway, I tried and um, they deported me because I am a woman and I am a singer and that's something that's not really allowed over there. So I was gutted and at this time, Cody and I were talking. Um, and <laughs> so I got, I got deported. The, the next place they sent us was, where was it? So when you, when you get deported from somewhere, they'll put you on the next plane out. And the next plane out was actually next morning and it was going to Dubai. Dubai. And my next show was in Barcelona and Cody was on his holiday. And um, his, his job would be three months on the job, one month off. So in that one month off, instead of going home, he would go traveling. And that's the time that he said, oh, I'm, um, I'm gonna be in Europe. Are you, are you doing gigs there? Which we were. He was in Italy with his friend. Um, he was going to go to the Vatican, weren't you? And um, had all these plans. So sorry. Anyway, so I texted him. I was so upset about Iran. And you know, I don't know if you've heard me talk about um, uh, silver linings before or anything, but I've, I mention this a lot. I say if, if something shit in your life happens and you don't see a silver lining to it, um, make one. Make a silver lining. <coughs> look at all of your options and make a silver lining. Like when uh, those people tried to kill me, I decided, right, I'm going to make a silver lining. I'm gonna get puppies and um, say that they are very protective and actually Igor is on the top three most protective dogs in the world apparently. But anyway, I made a silver lining out of that. So that, this, this was that. So I said to Cody, I'm being deported. I'm gonna be in Barcelona. I said, will you be my silver lining? And he, from that, cancelled all of his plans <laughs> and um, got on a train, I think. Yep, got on a train and headed to... And headed to Barcelona and booked a ticket. Well, not a train, but I went to the airport. Went to the airport. And, down, and he was there. I was down in the And house. we were really nervous because yeah. we hadn't dated. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all just like, okay, hi. And it was the best. And the next day we had a picnic. We fell in love. Oh, this is a nice cooking with Joss, isn't it? Talking about love. Do we talk about love every time? I think we probably do. I'm putting two on. You can put loads more on, but you're going to see how they spread. They're going to spread a lot. Right. So, fork. You need this because you're going to smush, okay? Right, dip this, I've just shoved it in the um, mixture. Dip this in the sugar. Dipped. Squish. Dip. Squish. See that? Mm -hmm. Squishing. Squishing. Technical terms, squishing. I just hope it doesn't stick. <sighs> oh, peanuts. And then put some actual peanuts on top. Oh, are these salted? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter, it'll still be delicious. Salted's fine. Uh, we don't want like four, you can put four ones. I'm just gonna give it a little, yep, 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 they're good. There's it. I mean, you, if you put loads on, because it's going to spread so much, it's going to look like you've put none on, so don't worry about it. Pop these on there, and then you will have a nice, lovely thing like this. Sugar. Hang on. Oops. Little 
shove that. I'm just going to shove it. I won't chop it. I'll just do full ones. Yeah, let's just do a crazy. Yeah. Pop that in there. Shove that in there. Get a little squish. Sugar, sugar. Okay. Woo! It's going to be good. Delicious. Okay, we're going to put it in the oven. I reckon it'll take 12 minutes. Oh, there's already a pan in there. Get out the way, pan. Okay. Do not put it on the top. Right. Time me. Not me. Time the cookies. Um, right. 12 minutes. Wash your hands. Get rid of any viruses. Wash, wash. I know I didn't wash it for long enough, but whatever. Right. So, uh, that's it. And then we just chat for a minute. Should we have a cup of tea? I really feel like I need a cup of tea now. I said to Cody the other day, I can't drink tea, you know, PG tips and that. I can't drink it anymore. Only, only for now. I hope to God that um, when baby comes out, I hope I can have a cup of tea again. But I can't. Something about it. Not a normal cup, you know? And when I say normal cup, I mean black tea. Either PG or Yorkshire or Tetley's or Barry's. I can't have any of those. Something about it just doesn't work. Um, but chamomile I'm into. I'm into chamomile. So I said to him, I said to him, I really love that honey vanilla chamomile. And the next day, <laughs> I come down. Here you go, here's one. He's got all these teas. <laughs> this is only some of it. I think he, um, Maybe click the wrong button, but with Cody, if you, if you ask, you get. <laughs> so I've got the kettle on. Anyway, it's very, very sweet. Very, very sweet, isn't he? Ah, oh, dear. So is everyone good? You right, Eric? You right, Svan? Hi, Angie. Oh, live from Afcom. How's everyone in Afcom doing? Don't forget about it. One more call. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, just remind me when 10 minutes is up. Oh, thank you for the stars. The stars are going to go to the kids in Armenia that are, um, that are needing instruments and fun. You know, they're having a bit of a shit time, as it were. So this time, that's what it is. That's what we're collecting our stars for. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and flower. Where is she? She's over there sleeping. sleeping. Shall I get flower? Do you want to see flower? She oh. is so cute. Oh, I love her. I'll go get her. She's sweet. Oh, look at her little face. You alright, mate? You a bit sleepy? sleepy. I know. Why are you? I woke her up. She was like, oh, I don't want to get up. Oh. So this is Flower. We're fostering her whilst we're here in Nashville, making a record. Um, she's very. She's a very little beagle. She's so sweet. Um, she's looking for a home. What's the name of the adoption place? SOSBeagles.org. SOSBeagles.org. She's just the sweetest thing in the world. And you can get in touch with us if you want to adopt her. Um, she's just Probably looking for love. Anybody in the Tennessee area? Yeah, anyone in the Tennessee area. Or if they want to drive. They could be further out, couldn't they? Yeah. Oh, she's so sweet. She's just very like soft in her way, but then when food comes around, she gets crazy. She's so excited about food, oh. which makes her very, very easy to train. But you're working on that because I am, yeah. But it's good because you can reward her with food. I remember with Missy, my Rottweiler, it was, she was actually really hard to train because she didn't care about food. She, she kind of wanted cuddles. Yeah. But, um, but really, food wasn't really her thing. So... Um, made it a little bit more difficult. Oh, I love this dog. 
She's so sweet. But yeah, so she's learned sit, come, and uh, off. <laughs> so she, cause she jumps up a little bit, gets excited, and now she's good. And out. I feel like she's learned out now as well from the kitchen, you know, because that's when the food's around and she's just like crazy. Um, and she, she gets it. She stays behind that line, so that's good. I'll just pop her back so she can have a little sleep. You can't have the other two. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. They're getting along well. At first she was a bit scared of the other dogs, but she seems good now. I don't know if Maggie likes her. I think she's warming up to her, but you know how some dogs will show they don't like another dog by like biting them. Maggie doesn't do that. She's just ignoring, you know? I wonder if it's because of the attention, you know? Anyway. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're so lovely. Oh, I need this tea. I do. I need it like I need a... Mmm. It's good. I should tell you about this. I mean, I don't know. Should I tell them? Or should I give it a secret? <laughs> no. How about yesterday? Celestial seasonings. Honey, vanilla, chamomile. Ooh. Mm. It's good. I know it's going to make me sleepy though, isn't it? No. But I don't care. It's delicious. Oh, look, we were just talking about Missy, and this is my Missy. It's a bit of a cracked screen because I travel with it, but I take this with me everywhere. This is a picture of my Missy. I love her. Oh, dear. Yep, yeah, it's hard. It's hard having dogs. My dad said, well, it's lovely having dogs. It's hard having dogs when they go. Um, my dad said to me, Joss, just remember that if you invest in a dog, you are investing in heartache because they will die before you. That's nice and bright and breezy, isn't it? But um, it's kind of true and you have to prepare yourself for that. It's really upsetting when they go, but you have to, you have to kind of, really enjoy the good times because they give you so much obviously you give them everything that you can love and play and compassion and food and um hopefully health <laughs> but oh look she's coming around to have a little sniff now but yeah i just wish they would live for a hundred years and they don't it's annoying chrissy said they have good peach tea what here you ate a pumpkin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit concerned. How big am I actually going to get? I'm six months. I've got three more months. I'm going to be huge. It's going to be like, I don't know. It's a funny thing because when I first started to, when the tummy first started to move out, it felt like there was a baby in there kind of trying to get out like this way. It was like, you know, ugh. And then my tummy felt like um, it was falling off of me a little bit, you know? Like the weight is in the front and I'm not used to that. It's been mad, it's been a journey. I think it's fantastic though, it's really brilliant, but odd. Hmm. I'll take flower, she is a cutie. Leticia. You should get in contact with us if you're really serious about that. I mean, she's the sweetest. Yeah, I know. I think the adoption people, they do their thing. I mean, they go and they check out your house and your life and, you know, it's like anything. If you're adopting a baby even, that would happen. Um, and then... And then you have a friend for life. It's amazing. It is amazing to be able to do that. It's different when you buy a dog. You know, you go to the dog breeder, you give them some money, and then you come home with a dog. There's less care in it. But when you're adopting, it matters. Because it matters um, what your home is like, what your life is like, what your personality is like. 
um, because oftentimes these dogs have been abused. We don't know what happened to Flower, but she's definitely a little bit a little bit timid at first. Now she's not at all. And on the first day, she was like the other two dogs freaked her out, you know. So there are things to consider. So if you do want to, please, please get in contact with us. Um, Joe um, will post the link. We we set up an email address for it, um, and also we'll play, we'll post a link to the adoption um, site as well. And um, I'd love that. We're leaving here on the 17th. So I would love it if we could find her a home before we leave. I wish I could take her with us, but we can't. Um, so yeah, Lucy. Dusty's not, not with us anymore. I'm sorry, Lucy. Nope, she lived to 15. It's very sad. I miss Dusty. Right, cookies. Oh, it's looking good, people. I just love how simple this recipe is. One, one, and one. Oof, one, one, and one. Look at that. Look at that. Those are nice. Now, I like them crunchy. I would cook them a little bit more. Should I do them a bit more? Yeah. But, perfect cookie, right? Good. So easy. So easy. I bet you could do it with cashew nut um, butter as well. I don't know, I haven't tried it though. Yeah, I miss my Dusty. Oh, I adopted my dog and her name is Joss because of you. Angela, that's so nice. Thank you, that's really sweet. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm reading. Thank you very much, that's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Lucy. That's really sweet. Hannah Sennett. Hi, love. Flower looks adorable. I'm sure someone will be able to give her a lovely home. Yes, I hope so. That would be good. She's such a sweet girl. And um, in the last few days, she has started making the beagle howl. Like when the other dog's barking, because she was really silent at first, which is great, but also not because you want them to express themselves. Um, and she heard, I think, another dog outside and she went, oh! <laughs> it was really cute. Very, very cute. Mm. So I popped it back in. This is when I normally make um, the mistake of leaving it in too long. So pop it back in for like one more minute. And then um, you take it off the baking paper, which I hope that you have, and then leave it on the side to cool and then it will be like good. If you have it before it's cooled, it's just going to be squashy and I don't know. I think some people like that, but I don't like that. No, check it's been a minute. It's been, it's been a minute. Thank you. Oh yeah. I have one more minute. The right one is um, looking pretty good. It's exciting times. Um, now, if we bought this string, I asked Cody to get some ribbon so we could tie the cookies together. But um, he came up with a man version, which I do still think could be cool. We could make it rustic, you know? String, it's just as good. Brown paper packages tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. That's what string reminds me of every time. Anyway, um, so if you were gonna make like five or six or eight of them or whatever, depending on how big your cookie is, you can tie them up with a piece of ribbon or, or string or, you know, there's lots of little packaging ideas that you can do with cookies. So, yeah. But we've only made two, and they're gonna take a little bit of a while to cool. So it's just an idea. There's loads of ideas on Pinterest, actually. You can go on, and and I think this is also nice for um, uh, like Christmas gifts. I like to make Christmas gifts. I think that's kind of part of Christmas, really, for me, is to make something for people. Um, one year I did like a little tiny pot of jam. It was like really small. It was really cute, and. Um, and then like there was another tiny little jug. I got it from like buy and save. There was these little cute jars and they weren't massive. Um, so there was like some jam. I think I put a candle in there or something and uh, some dressing. I should teach you guys how to make the dressing. I love this dressing. 
it makes you want to eat bowls and bowls and bowls of salad. We'll do that next. Um, so yeah, it's a nice thing to chuck some cookies in there and get like a little basket. We'll talk about this when Christmas comes. Anyway, right, guys, cookies are oh, perfect now. Oh yeah, that's better. I like that. Mmm. Okay, uh, can I show you? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'll make more and post a nice picture. Um, but it's, um, they need to cool a little bit. So they can't. Otherwise they'll be weird. See how they're a little? Yeah. No, it's okay. They're not bad. No, 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 it's good. It's the butter. I know, the butter. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Whoops. Oh yeah, they come off really easy. Oh no. Oh shit. See, that one's kind of falling apart. Oh no. That's fine. It's pretty. It would do. I should have left it flat. <laughs> but it's good. Shit. That one. Mmm. Mmm. Do I have to wait? No, I don't want to wait. They're bloody hot. Have a bit anyway. Mm -hmm. Just pull off a bit of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, but look, mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's bloody delicious. That's it. Good. Right. Happy um, fall. Happy autumn. Happy Halloween. Happy peanut butter cookie day. Um, I hope you make loads. If you do. Post a little picture so I can see. Just kind of make sure you eat as many of them as possible. All right, take care, lovelies. I've had a lovely time chatting to you all. So nice to see you all. Oh, Rachel said, I think she's gonna have a little girl. That's what I said. He reckons it's a girl too. Eee, we'll find out. It's a girl. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Good boy. Bye.